<sighs> okay. Heartbreaking. Poor girl has to get out of the soft, warm bed even though she is so, 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 so comfy. What a horrible way to start day. My pet lit match and my pet puddle of gas did not get along. They're just playing. Don't worry about it. My soul is dark because my body doesn't have lights in it. If you used a flashlight, it would show that my soul is a bowl of freshwater shrimp. You mean to tell me these shrimp run that body? Anyone else ever daydream for six hours straight and then after you're just like, nah, let's scrap that and do it all again, but like slightly to the left? My brain. <laughs> Was that good? Me in a beret, taking a long draft from a cigarette and leaning back in my director's chair. Hmm, once again, from the top, this time with feeling. <laughs> I'm not a girl, I'm not a boy, I'm like a PlayStation 2. Ugh, outdated, get the four. Hey! How dare you say that to a very proud PlayStation 2? You shut your mouth! Do you ever get a song you hate stuck in your head and you try to think of a better song but the two mash together to create something horrible? Make it stop. I took some ibuprofen yesterday. Today I woke up at 1 p.m. And later, I mean pizza. I consider that self-care. Have you drank any water yet today? I want a lawyer. Hey, bro, can you pass me your agenda for a second? No, 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 no. I'm not going to do anything to it. I just want to I, I just want to look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they all say. Hey. Hey. It's okay to like bad characters. Not like morally bad, but actually badly written. They might scratch an itch you can't get anywhere else. So like them. Ain't no one gonna tell you you can't. This ain't 1984 yet. I'm pretty... I feel like I could give a couple of answers of series that could scratch this itch, but I don't want to awaken those phantoms. Just kidding. Yes, I do. Did you mean Riverdale and Ruby in the final seasons of Steven Universe? I'm just kidding, guys. Love you. I'm going through my Skyrim screenshot folder. Do you want to poison the delicious quinoa, Susan? Who names the character Susan? Um, I'm poisoning an enchanted crossbow, which I gave a nickname to so I wouldn't accidentally sell it. The name of the weapon is Delicious Quinoa, Susan. A as you do. Well, get doxxed! That's not the Milky Way. Who the fuck do you have a beef with, OP? Wouldn't you like to know? Writing prompt. You're an ancient Greek man coming home from four months of war to find your wife three months pregnant. Now you've embarked on a solemn quest to punch Zeus in the face. Soon after you begin your quest, you encounter another man in a similar situation. You decide to join forces, as two mortal men stand a better chance at punching Zeus than one. Two villages over, you encounter a woman who had relations with Zeus and was left with a highly aggressive half-boar, half-man offspring. She too feels your anger and offers to join your quest. By the time you reach Mount Olympus, you've amassed a formidable army of cuckolded, ravished mortals, demigods with daddy issues, mythical creatures with scores to settle, and a seamstress who you're pretty sure is Hera in disguise. Zeus never stood a chance. I want to fucking read this book. Where it? Somebody write this! I'm not mentally ill. I just have an unparalleled commitment to the bit. God. Did you know? Hyperion studies show that most cases of what some people perceive as environmental destruction and pollution is really an external projection of their own anxiety and inability to accept change in their surroundings. Okay, Hyperion, let's get you to bed. Spoken like a shoe for the mattress industry. Hammocks are better, though? Hammocks are but a gateway mattress. Sheep! Hey, what's the Tumblr equivalent of Hey Siri? Science side of Tumblr. Hey, science side of Tumblr, explain. Science side of Tumblr here. I'm in your phone. Uh, I don't like that answer. Try again. What, what are my pronouns? They're mine! You can't have them! Shh, 